Welcome to District 32, Immersion, inspiration for ambitious business owners with big dreams. Hello, my name is Lorraine Garvey of District 32, and I'm absolutely stoked to be interviewing the legend, Peter Butler of Smarter Websites. How are you, Peter? I am well. Great to be on the call. We should around. Thank you. It is, and I see you brought Buddy along with you. Yeah, Buddy's always sitting there overseeing all that goes on. Beautiful. Love it. Glad you could both make it. <laughs> Thank you. So like today, we're going to deep dive into relationships and how one relationship can open a door um, and transform your life or your business in some way that you just couldn't possibly know. But before we get into that, um, Peter, why are your websites smarter? Right. Look, it's very easy to create a graphically gorgeous website. It's as simple as, however, will it convert the visitors to known prospects so you can run them through your pipeline or your funnel and convert them into a client? We've, we've got to distinguish our A-grade clients. So that's what we do. We look at the customer journey, that user experience. So that's what sets us apart, turning websites from just, our websites are graphically gorgeous, however, they help grow your business, make your money and qualify your clients. Wow. Now that does sound like a smart website, uh, Peter. Awesome. Thank you. And I love um, that. That makes sense for me. That gets straight to the outcome. I love it. Love the tagline. Thank you for that. Um, so Peter, tell me then, relationships obviously district 32 is about relationships it's about connections and it's about opportunities and and it takes time mm -hmm. and now and again in fact not just now and again but very regularly yeah. you hear about like somebody said to me yesterday i was at an event yesterday and he went thank you you've just introduced me to the person that's the key to all the people that i need to meet and i was like wow all right then um but I want to hear your stories, Peter. So you've got, you've been around for a wee while in business. I have. You've got a big network. That's why I called you the legend that is Peter Net, uh, Peter Butler. You, your reputation precedes you. You, you, you got, you, you've been around for a long time yeah. in Perth and WA. You've got a lot of relationships. And I would just love to hear what yeah. your one or two stories are, are around um, relationships and, and how they've changed your business. So over to you, Peter. <laughs> Yeah, look, when you did a shout out, there was two incidents that really um, came to mind. And, and one was a uh, local business owner. We're at a, sun, uh, a networking sundowner event. And, and I've got to say, I'm actually not a, I have to push myself to network. I would rather sit behind my computers and stay safe and, and play at home. However, I know that's how I'm going to build my business. And I also know that it's the relationships that are going to build a business. So anyway, I'm at this sundowner event. A uh, person who I knew just did not well, we were talking about websites, she asked me a question about a particular issue she was having. And I gave her uh, a, a fairly short response, as in, you know, added value to the conversation. And then I just had a check and I thought, you know what, I should really take that to a higher level. And I added more value to the conversation, gave her some hints and tips on, on how to resolve that problem. She got back to me a couple of days later and said, and she was quite technical, she could quite likely have been able to apply those fixes herself. And she got hold of me and she, she, a couple of days later and she said, look, I'd actually prefer if you come in and help me with these solutions and other things ongoing. Short story version, fast track over uh, the next two years, she invested around $15,000 with us. Mm -hmm. So from me fostering the relationship, trying to add value and, and actually help solve a problem, nurture the relationship, that was, you know, a good return on investment. Uh, you know, it was just gold. Does that make sense? It makes complete sense, uh, Peter. I'm going to try and deconstruct that a little bit because a lot of people um, out there who are not um, used to networking or building relationships, you know, think it's all it's this big world and I don't have time. And, and, and Peter, there's a lot of us who are introverts who'd much rather stay behind our own computer. Um, but look, if we bring that right down to the fact that, first of all, you know, you, you've built rapport with someone, you're having a conversation, you're sharing your expertise, but, you know, somebody could have, a less, a less seasoned networker 
might mm-hmm. I say, might have withheld some of that expertise or that technical know-how or knowledge trying to get a sale yes. from that. And the fact that you didn't do that and you were just very giving and then also corrected yourself. Yes. Said, well, actually, I can go much more there and picked up on the, on the cues. Mm. You just gave as much value as you possibly could to that person in that one interaction. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. And that's where I, I find checks. You know, we, we've to add value, to nurture those relationships, to, to, and it shows our expertise. You know, it does. And you don't want to be giving that away all the time or we won't have businesses. Yeah. But the, the point is that we, we do operate at a much higher level than what can we can explain. So, yeah. you know, and that was just, it was a good learning curve for me. Um, so what did you take from that then, Peter? What, 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 what changed in your behaviours or what was the, what was the big, biggest change after, after that? Um, well, to oh, so so much. Right, it's a big subject. To you know, to follow up with people, you know, to add people into your database. You know, by this, uh, I have added that contact into my database. So I was able to foster the relationship because they didn't spend that fifteen grand in one go. They spent yeah. an initial sum of money, and then I'm popping out, you know, regular content, advising people how to resolve issues. You know, we're the resident experts. We can do it at a much higher level, um, mm. but we're helping, but we're also showing our expertise at the same time. And I'm building my database. Beautiful. And that's another thing that some business owners can often forget. I think it's such a shame people go for decades without um, marketing to or nurturing or sharing their expertise with the database and all that. It's all even worse. They're not in the database. <laughs> um, it, it's just a real shame. It, it, um, it, it is. It's a real, real shame. Yeah, we've, we've built a really solid database, a client base, and, you know, I've, I've done that from day one. Um, but it's also important to build that right, you know, because you've got to know how to be able to target a certain segment. But I could have a whole conversation about that, let me tell you. Um, really, <laughs> let's not really go there. Well, the CRM is a hot topic, Peter. We'll need to schedule that in because it's, yeah, and it's yeah. a non-negotiable. Yeah, it's yeah. non-negotiable. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Yeah. Look, there's so much I've learned. Um, and, and yeah, that is for another call. And, and so that when you ask that question, you pose that question about relationships and nurturing, the, the, another situation came to mind, which was uh, ended up being a much, much bigger picture and a, um, a real business changer for us. So we had a, uh, <laughs> again, I met this person at a uh, networking event. I put them into my database. They get my regular newsletters. They reached out. They were a business coach. They were just launching themselves into that space. And so I have a set of questions, qualifying questions, and they qualified. So we did a presentation. And then she tells me she's not ready to move forward yet. Clearly, I failed at qualifying, right? Um, <laughs> however, however, I'm diligent and I have a good follow-up process. Short story version is... Over 10 months, I think it was 11 or 12 touches in that time, she then said to me, and so two lessons here, is uh, thank you so much for following me up. I really appreciate your diligence. But trouble is most of us are are too shy to do that because we feel stalkerish or or we don't want to badger them. or or Pushy sales. We feel as if we're pushy sales people. Yeah. And it wasn't, you know, and I was not saying you're ready to go, you're ready to go. Um, I just thought I'd share this information with you, thought it might add value. And again, it's that adding value. Uh, let yeah. me know when you're ready to move. So I'm asking for the sale, but I'm not just doing salesy, you know, you've got to be yeah. smart. Anyway, so 10 months later, she goes, thank you so much. I'm ready to launch. Um, and by the way, and that was an eight grand gig for us. So that was good. And by the way, I've been doing some uh, part-time project management work for one of Perth's largest RTO providers, and they're having problems with their web agency. I'd like to do an introduction. Okay, let me think about that. Yes. (laughs) Um, So fast track, this is 11 years ago, fast track 11 years, that client has been worth, that new client she introduced me to, we landed them, $180,000. Wow. Wow. If I had not followed up, if I had not nurtured that relationship in the follow-up sequence, I wouldn't have landed the eight grand or the 180 grand. Mm. Like massive learning. And that client's still a client today, one of my biggest fans, you know, raving advocate for us and the work we do. So, yeah. Like, well done, Peter. Um, That's brilliant. Again, there's loads of messages in there. There's loads of messages that we can 
pull out. Um, one for me is you just never know where that next opportunity is coming from. Yes, yeah. And what, what often happens is business as well, and I've had many conversations about this as well, is you do the activity over here, like you do the follow-up over here. Yeah. And as long as you're doing the activity with a focus, the opportunity of the business comes from over here. Yeah. yeah. You know? So you, you never know who that one person is and you never know who they know. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and that was the point I was about to say. You, you never know who they know, you know. So that that's the sort of big takeaway. Um, and be, be careful that you're treating people with respect. You never know who they know, you know. Yeah. Don't ever um, assume someone's price bracket. Yeah, yeah. Because, no, you, you know, right. you, you, you just don't know. <laughs> but more there, it's the opportunities. If you just do the, you know, be, be a good human. Yes. Look yeah, after yeah. people. Yep. Um, help people where it's needed. Um, you never know what comes back. That's right, and and that's flowed on. That that um, large caliber client uh, has now just engaged us only a couple of months ago on a uh, much higher retainer than they've ever paid us because wow. of the new aspect to the business. Yeah. The new aspect is them exiting wow. the business actually, so it yeah, okay. managed, and and they need our help. So that again has turned into a a new cash cow. Um, and it's also given me the opportunity to refer other specialists that I know that I don't operate in um, to, to that client, you know, because I, yeah. I know lots of people. Oh, so it's a win, win, win. And then what happens as well on the back of that, I'm hearing you saying it's how the eggs at the business. The people who exit the business then go on to create new businesses. Yeah. And who do they come to and who are they referring to? You know, that it's... It's just, it's just a beautiful thing, <laughs> the, yeah. way, the way it all comes together. But yeah. And it's funny you should say that because I've already had a conversation with that client about <laughs> because, you know, driven people like that, entrepreneurs like that, they don't stop. They don't retire. That's right. That's they right. move on to other projects and that can, you know, that's a whole other network and guide. And all their friends have got the same kind of projects as well, you know. Yeah. Um, so, look, Peter. Thank you very much for sharing. There are you've shared two simple stories, um, but the learning and the layers under there around building rapport, looking after people, touch points, having a database, having a follow up system, sticking to it, um, never being too busy to nurture a relationship, always being sharing, adding value to a conversation at every interaction, um, and that's what it comes down to. How do I add value in this moment? Yes, you know. Yeah. And it comes back to you tenfold. Peter, yeah. you're a legend because oh. you've got a good reputation. You've got a brilliant reputation out there for going the extra mile and helping people to get those smarter websites, to get the better solutions and the outcomes that they've had. And that comes from you, your relationship making capabilities and your desire to help. Oh, so thank you very much. I really, really appreciate you sharing your time with us today. Thank you, Lorraine. Good to be Thank you. Bye, buddy. You've been listening to District 32, immersion, inspiration for ambitious business owners with big dreams.